The World Economic Forum has wrapped up here in Davos, Switzerland, and it's been a week characterized by several flashpoints. The war in Ukraine, soaring tensions in the Middle East, and America's election year taking center stage with business leaders giving their verdict on another potential Trump presidency and the outlook for money and markets. I think it's a mistake to assume that everything's hunky-dory. And, you know, and when stock markets are up, it's kind of like this little drug we all feel. Like, it's just great. You know? But remember, we've had so much fiscal and monetary stimulation, so I'm a little more on the cautious side. As we sat down with leaders from across the Middle East this week, strikes continued in the Red Sea, and the U.S. reinstated the Houthis as a terror group. Iran's foreign minister met with UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron and his Saudi counterpart, who both called for de-escalation. We believe the routes to go back to Israel's crimes and genocides in Gaza. If these crimes and genocides are stopped, naturally, the situation created in the region and the spread of war can be logically contained. With rebuilding trust as the tagline, the World Economic Forum also saw another new Arab peace plan coming to light as Israel's brutal war in Gaza continues with enormous human cost. Saudi Arabia says any normalization with Israel can't happen without a ceasefire and a pathway towards a Palestinian state. In the backdrop, one of the world's oldest conflicts overshadowing the new, with Ukraine's President Zelensky on a Davos funding round, seeking money for the reconstruction of his country, which has been fighting a slow war against Russia for nearly two years. I have no reasons to doubt the sincerity of the commitment of the Biden administration to continue helping Ukraine, nor do I have reasons to believe that the Republican Party as a whole does not realize how fundamental it is to defeat Russia in Ukraine and not, uh, not to allow Russia to continue destroying the world order built by America. Davos brings together the titans of capital and those who want to be. So the investment outlook was also a key theme. Capital allocators here are still working out what 2024 has in store. But one thing is for sure, the debate over disinflation, rate cuts, climate change and artificial intelligence is all here to stay. Dan Murphy, CNBC in Davos.